All right, g'day there. Richard Musgrave Evans again, and got some beautiful golden light we're gonna work with today. We're working in the afternoon, late evening. I'm still on the Murray River. I've got some beautiful, where are we? Over here. Beautiful cliffs, they're gonna glow as the light hits them. And uh, just gonna work on a white canvas today, something a bit different. Palette knives as usual, and oil paint. Okay, now where's that bin gone? I'm going to set myself a real challenge with this painting. I'm going to use that one big palette knife and nothing else. All right, let's get into it. All right, work out what I want to do. I just want to create a quick impression. So, yeah, we've got a nice bit of sunlight here. So, it's just going to be, where do I want my horizon about here somewhere? Stick the horizon about so. And that's just moving around a bit. Let's just try and stabilize that a bit. All right. Now, got some orange clips glowing here. Let's just put them in now. Let's not muck around. Let's just get the important things in. I want that to be bright and orange. into where the water's going to go a bit. Okay, now foreground. Ching chong, ching ching. Okay. You can see what I'm doing yet? Okay. Foreground, I'll just get it in shadow first and then I'll put a bit of light on. Now the foreground's going to come to about here. Just mixing up a bit of greens and blues and browns and stuff. A bit more brown to set it back a bit. Blowing already now. To get that cliff to pop more, I'm going to use a very vibrant dark blue sky behind it. I'll pull up like so. Like I said before, just the one knife for all the different effects. It's a really good way to practice using a knife. It'll teach you to use it for fine lines, big marks, small marks. It's really a good way to learn how to use a knife. Just limit yourself to the one. Now we've got our blue sky. A bit of magenta blue water. The water's got a bit of a breeze up on it. Bit of an afternoon breeze on the river side. So we can see a little bit of river in here. Okay, 
Okay, now what's obviously happening here is <clears throat> I haven't got anywhere near the amount of blue that I need because there seems to be a bit of blue going on, so I need a bit more blue. Okay. Blue, white, bit of yellow ochre. Mixing up a light tone here. Almost a green colour, that'll be the sky up here. for a dramatic sky like I said. Burnt sienna, magenta, white, blue. Pick up some of those darker clouds up here. There's some real moody ones up here which is good. We'll put them in. It's a bit darker, I reckon. It'll go a bit darker than that. Carl, stand back. Trying to put a few of the reflections of the uh, cliff into the water. Clear a space. Got to clear a space for a few more highlights. Now I've got a pile of paper towel over there which I'll be putting away directly into the bin. You've got to keep everything extremely clean when you're 
mixing uh, these really bright colours, they get muddy very easily, so everything has to stay extremely clean. Purposely just playing around with the one knife, large painting, large, only one large knife for this painting, just having a bit of fun. One tiny work, one large knife. And white, cad yellow. Put the knife on edge, it's amazing the detail you can get with such a, such a big knife, like, you'd be surprised at the tiny bits you can get into these. Details like that, putting the trunks of the gum trees in. Not really too much of a problem. A few foreground grasses here. Clean the knife off. Just going to soften a couple of edges here by pulling the knife through, like so. out of green like I said never want to be stingy with paint always put plenty of paint on even for a little painting like this clear some area get some of that green mix it with a bit of magenta maybe that'll give us a nice shadow tone casting across the picture there that's not quite the right color let's take that off start that again more like I want. Kind of electric colours. Painting a few of the shadows in here and there. Now that distance is really starting to glow now, so what would be ideal, we're really starting to get a glow on that distant hill, see that? I mean, I've already got that largely in my painting, but it's come up way stronger now. Exactly what I was hoping for has happened. So, without mucking around anymore, let's get some 
proper colour in there. Look at the glow on that hill. Look at the glow. Half mix that. You put in a whole lot of stuff and then you just get the knife and you just rub. Like so. What you get, it really softens. It really lends itself to, it really lends itself to pellet knife work because pellet knife works pretty harsh. So if you soften it by doing that technique, great fun. It works well. Also slightly abstracts the painting too. Gives you more of that abstract quality about the work. See, with a type of painting like this, it's hard to know when to finish. I mean, it's all about light and colour and marks, which is already there. So. Is it finished? Isn't it finished? You know what I mean? We lost a couple of branches so I just put them back in. But see, with this technique quite often I'll put something on, put something on and then all of a sudden, phew, take it all off and whatever's left, sometimes just that little bit that's left of the essence of what I did put in before. And all you do is just touch that up and you've got something. Anyway, I like how it is. I'll get the camera off. I'll have a look, no worries. Alright, there you go now. You can see what I'm saying here, how I've put stuff in and then by smearing the knife, and almost, you've got to have the confidence just to smear, you can get some incredible subtleties. Like, look at that. That's like a subtlety, like a watercolour, and yet it's a big chunky palette knife work. And uh, you can only get that subtlety through big slide technique. Big knife, big slide technique. And as you can see, we've got the afternoon light spearing across the, uh, across the river. And uh, it is a very beautiful subject indeed. All right, well, give it a go yourself. Set yourself the challenge of one large palette knife, one small painting. You'll be amazed at all the different effects you can get. All right, well, that's about it. No worries. Thank you.